Hi guys, I'm Becky, my channel is Wobbeck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today's a Friday Sews where I'm going to talk about what I've been up to with you. Got a bit of a bumper episode today. I've got things that I've made, things that I've purchased and things that I've planned and prepped. I'm not quite sure how I have got as much done this week, I will be honest, because it's been a week. I've had lots of medical things going on this week with my daughter, with my mum, with my uncle. Everybody's okay, but they're all appointments that were really important that needed to take place. And I have been manoeuvring everybody about across the week. I actually took a day's holiday earlier this week as well to deal with one of the appointments because I knew we'd be in the hospital for quite a while. And um, I thought, oh, it's great. I'll get plenty of time to sew. No, we were literally down in the hospital the majority of the day. It was no different to a normal working day. So I am very surprised with how much I've got. Now, I do tend to sew when I'm stressed and elements of stress this week has meant that I have got some sewing done. So good for you because I've got stuff to share. Um, and I have also done an emotional shop this week. So I've got fabric to share with you as well, which I fully hold Tamlin from Sewing on the Time responsible for those purchases. But we'll talk about that when we get to it. So let's talk about what I've been making first, guys. I have made, as I shared with you last week, the Friday Pattern Company Patina Blouse. This is a boxy style blouse. I have made a couple of adaptations to the blouse, but I did share that I was going to make this up. And the reason that I was doing this when it wasn't in my original blouse plans was because I didn't have the other two patterns printed and I wanted to get on and sew up a blouse. So this is the Friday Pattern Company patina blouse now i haven't worked out whether i still feel this is pajama -y or not i'll let you let me know in the comments below i think i'm gonna have to get the styling right on this for it not to be pajama -y. um this is out of a gorgeous viscose twill fabric that i got from beyond the pink door which was an absolute nightmare to work with it's buttery soft it's gorgeous to look at but it slipped and slid everywhere so i recommend if you have this fabric in your stash walking foot starch spray gonna be your best friends just saying right now um but i have made this up i've made the lower neckline version because you've got a higher and a lower neckline i prefer a more open neck i feel it gives more of a uh for me it just suits me there you go that's what i'm going with i have got some gorgeous jazz and wow buttons on this these are my red and pink ones now i have used these on a number of my garments now in fact i'm going to go through my whole um shops worth of stash if i carry on using these i'm going to have to design some other um pink or red um buttons for my shop because clearly i seem to favor these ones but i did feel with the pink and the red in there it would go with this quite nicely. Maybe I just need to stop making things that are pink and red. I have popped a little rosy cheeks label on it that says swing it, shake it, move it, made it. And um, I have double interfaced this because I had some really, really light interfacing and I had to remake this collar twice because the first time I did it, I did it with one um, lot of interfacing and it was too lightweight and it just wasn't taking to it and it was um stretching out so when i actually joined them together it didn't work i had to interface both sides i have put an elasticated cuff on mine this is really important for me um i like to shove my sleeves up and a placket just doesn't allow me to do that without undoing it and rolling it up so this works really well and i just love it um it did take me a while to get into the sewing of this. I must admit, I started this on Saturday and I've been sewing it very slowly, very, very slowly. But I do absolutely love it. I'm really pleased with this make and I am so glad that I got it done. So I hope that you like it. I'm going to pop some footage and some pictures in so you can see. Um, the Friday Pattern Company Patina Blouse is a lovely, simple sew. The only thing that I would say can be quite complex is easing that collar facing in. Um, and I know that I've made some mistakes because trust me, this fabric was not the easiest to work with. But I think it looks beautiful. I'm really pleased with how it came together. Now, I have made a size large in this. Um, I was a bit apprehensive about whether that would fit, but it does fit me perfectly across the shoulders and um, it does fit elsewhere. I could have done with it being a little bit looser on the bottom, but as I'm on a weight loss journey at the moment, I think that that works just fine. So that's the first thing I got made up. Now, when I'd finished making that, I really felt the need to have a bit of a palette cleanser and this is my palette cleanser so this top here that i am wearing is the helen's closet 
um, Dawson top and I've made it with the low scoop neck and I've made it with a three quarter length sleeve and it's just lovely. It just fits me perfectly. It's a real basic in my wardrobe. I've made this up in a 14 across the top and then graded out to a 16 across the bottom and I think that the shoulders fit me in just the right place. They're not dropping over the sides, which I find I have that problem with so many patterns. I love the way that this neckline goes in. I have popped a label in this. I have popped a you do you label in. And it's a really quick and simple sew. Helen's corset instructions are fantastic, guys. So I do recommend having a go at one of Helen's corset's patterns if you haven't. I bought this fabric from first for fabrics in december last year when i went up for so tune i only bought a meter and a half and to be fair i've seen lots of dresses made up some beautiful wrap dresses in this i've seen loungewear made up in it i mean i love this fabric it is stunning and i was torn between i just bought a meter and a half to either make a t-shirt or a basic staple in my wardrobe of some sorts and because i like the neckline on this i decided for the weather so i can wear it now and it'll actually see me through all seasons really the three quarter length sleeve was probably the best option now i probably could have sized down because there are spots that are slightly loose on me but to be fair i prefer something that skims over my body doesn't hug all my lumps and bumps so i feel that this was the right size and the right choice for this particular fabric for me it is a sensational fabric you know if i'd had three meters of it i probably would have made something up like a wrap dress of some sort because I do love it, but I am pleased with what I've got out of my one and a half metres. So that's my second make of the week. And then because I was on a roll, I thought I would have a go at a third. So I did some cutting out um, yesterday. So I always film this on a Thursday and uh, yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was the day that I spent at the hospital with my uncle and I had some time first thing in the morning before I went. It was the only bit of time that I actually got to take from my day off and I spent that time cutting out lots of different things. I'd got everything out and I um, had already prepped the uh, Talia Brunette Le Blouse pattern that I'd shared with you that I really wanted to get made up. Um, I'd stuck all of the pieces of that together so I cut the pattern pieces out but I didn't have the fabric washed so I still haven't cut that out. I then found my Anna Allen Anthea blouse, my old one that's too short that's not wearable and I tried it on to see whether it would fit me and whether I could get away with it and yes I can just. Now I must admit with this particular one I'm just going to put it on so I can show you because I haven't finished this but I have started it. So there is still plenty of room in it for it to fit me but it is going to be still loose can you see so that's that's across the front that's it done up so it's still loose fitting but it's a lot closer fitting than anything else. Now I want to tell you about the sizes that this is cut in because I decided to go with what I originally had in my um, fabric, not in my fabric, in my pattern stash already. So I think I'd said to you last week that the reason I'd cut the patina was because I needed to reprint this pattern. Well when I tried the version on that I had upstairs that was cut out in a much smaller size, um, it still fit me across here and across the bust and the bust bit was the bit I was worried about but I still have got plenty of room so we're going with it guys so this is actually cut in a size six across the shoulders because i have those narrow shoulders and you've got those gorgeous puff sleeves um and then it's graded out to a size eight um under the arm so it's a six across here and then i grade out under here towards the eight and then it's an eight everywhere else and what that does is it just gives me a closer fitting garment and just get that across i really needed to pin this so you could see but i don't know if you can see with the buttons on it there's still if you had the buttons down there that's the plaque it's closed it's still got all that space still loose fitting but it fits me much clearer across the top and it doesn't feel like it's incredibly oversized so i had cut this out and obviously you can see i've started sewing it this is the um lady mccoy this is a different fabric to the one i'd said to you guys again i hadn't washed the other one and actually when i found this in my stash it's the lady mccoy in venice in this cobalt blue 
um, viscose chalet. So it's a really fine chalet. Again, a pain to sew with. Um, and I just felt this would be perfect going into the spring months. Now, if you actually look outside my window right now, it's grey, it's miserable, it's not particularly nice. But um, this would be perfect for the spring months. So I've got the front and the back sewn together. I have got the binding on, although I did this really late last night and uh, it needs to be unpicked and re-put back on. Um, obviously, you've got your button plackets down the side. This is such a simple sew. So the next real steps, apart from taking off the binding and reattaching that, are to do the sleeves. So there's lots of gathering on the sleeves and they gather into a cuff um, at the bottom as well. And then it's literally getting them in, in getting them, sewing them in and then putting the buttons on. And voila, I'll have another blouse and hemming. Um, the one thing I like about this is this beautiful curved, I don't know if you can see, there's a gorgeous curved line there at the bottom. I have lengthened this, so um, just to show you again, sorry. I have added onto this about um, five inches, no, four inches, four inches, I think it was. So you can see how that curves there, obviously it'd be hemmed. And with it being hemmed, it's still going to come up a bit shorter, but I've added four inches on it. So it should sit just, just there, just over my mum tum, which is how I would like to wear it. So that's the other thing that I have been making up. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to see it finished. Um, and I think that's going to be perfect for spring. But I think this is going to be a good one for holiday as well. Now, whether it's one that I wear like for traveling um, with a pair of, I don't know, some smart casual joggers. So if I, I've got some like uh, cream Ponte, Ponte, Ponte fabric. Look at me trying to sound all posh, Ponte. Um, some cream Ponte fabric. And I'm thinking that these with the made for mermaids, um, wide leg pants, uh, jogger style pants with the pin tuck down the front, the pair of them in white with this blouse, because they'd be so comfortable because they're both loose fitting, um, would actually just look so chic for traveling in, but I'd look so put together. What do you think? It'd also look lovely with a pair of um, shorts as well, um, in like a linen fabric, a pair of trousers, linen trousers too. I just think that this fabric is just beautiful and I love this colour. So it's that cobalt blue and I love that kind of blue on me. Um, I think it really suits me. So that's the making. So I've got two full things made up this week and I got a part thing made up. So I'm looking forward to sharing that. I'm looking forward to getting both of those entered into the Sew April Blouse Challenge. So what else have I been doing? Let's talk about plans first. So um, I did cut out, I've now got the Le Blouse um, pattern all stuck together and cut out. My fabric is going in my machine, ready for me to take to the sewing social that I attend on Saturday. Now I won't take sewing with me to do because to be honest with you, I just don't wanna be lugging everything with me. And I've got quite a few jobs that I can get on with that are sewing related, that are boring and mundane and much better at doing sewing socials. So the first thing I want to take with me is to unpick that gorgeous gorgeous orange dress that I shared with you. I'll pop a picture in here if you haven't seen it a couple of weeks ago on my Friday sews. I am going to unpick that whole dress. So I've got it in um, pieces of fabric. I know how much I've got to work with and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with it. I've had lots of feedback on it and I thank you all for having your input and your say and sharing your suggestions, but I have decided to take the dress apart because it's just not flattering. Whilst I could put in a belt, the way that the sleeves are structured, I feel that it would make it very difficult. So I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna reuse the fabric and I'm gonna make something amazing, but I wanna see how much I've got to play with. So I'll keep you updated on how that's going. So that's the first thing I'm going to take with me. The next thing I want to take with me is the La Blouse pattern and I'm going to get that cut out whilst I'm there as well. So the pair of those two jobs will keep me busy with all the monattering as it's a years since it's been a whole year since we went to that first sewing social. I'll pop a picture in here of my first time attending the Staffordshire social, which was its very first one which means that I've had the privilege of knowing these particular ladies that you see in this picture for an entire year. How fabulous is that? 
<laughs> so yeah, that is plans for the coming week. And then my intentions obviously will be to get this blouse finished and hopefully get started on the Le blouse. The reason I want to get that done is because obviously April is the month for blouses. I do need some more separates. And I'm really itching to start working on the um, Thea trousers by Tilly and the Buttons so I can start pairing these up with some things. Um, but I want to get the blouses done first because I am a nightmare. Something new and shiny, I just want to go off and do it, which is really hard because the fabric that I've got in front of me that I'm going to share with you, um, I just feel like I want to do something with now. So let me show you the pile of fabrics that I have here. How beautiful do these look and how colourful do these look? Last, what well, the beginning of this week, um, the lovely Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine was on the first fabric stories and she was sharing lots of different new fabrics that have come into stock. Those two particular fabrics that she shared, but one of them I looked at and I was like, I want that for my holiday. I want to make a Calvin wrap dress and I need that in my life now. And that was the deciding factor to go over and make the purchase. But of course, me being me, I couldn't just buy one thing. I was having a bad day. I'd had a long day. Lots of things had gone on and it made me happy to do lots of purchasing. So the one that took me over the edge and was like, you've got to have that now was this particular one here. So this is a gorgeous biscuit. And actually it feels so nice when you hold it. It doesn't feel like it's going to be as much of a pain to work with as some of the other ones that I've been working with. It's this fantastically vibrant and bright tie-dye fabric. Look at how gorgeous that is. And it's got my colours in it. Um, some of them are lighter shades that I'd normally go for, but it's got a lot of the colours that I absolutely love. And with this, I really want to make a Calvin wrap dress. Now, I don't have the pattern. I don't own it. I need to purchase it. Um, so I didn't know how much I'd particularly need for this. And I could have Googled it, but I was in a buying state. So I actually ordered three and a half metres of this. So I've got plenty. And with any luck, I might have a little bit left. But I know that this pattern has a lot of bias binding. I was thinking, though, I could pluck one of the colours out of this and make a bias binding or order some bias binding in those colours um, so I could save some of this fabric a little bit further or make this fabric go a little bit further because it would also make an awesome um, woven tee. It really would. Or it would make an awesome wick comb top with some like uh, ribbing around the top in like a white colour just to really um, exaggerate these colours. So yeah, this is what that's going to be. I've got to focus on my holiday wardrobe. Um, I am going away at the beginning of June. It's like the first week in June that I go away to Spain for an entire week, just me and my partner for a friend's birthday. And um, I need a dress to wear for the birthday, but... I need lots of holiday clothes and hopefully by then I'll be slightly slimmer than I am now as I'm doing so well on my weight loss journey. So let me show you the next fabric. Minor interruption from the daughter. Um, right, so the other fabrics that I purchased. So I purchased this. Now I've seen this fabric in a number of different shops over the past few, over the past month, I would say. And then when I saw it on the First of Fabrics website, it was a lot cheaper, guys, than I've seen it elsewhere. So I went ahead and purchased it. Now, I think I've only purchased a small amount of this, one and a half metres, I think, was what I went for in the end, maybe two. Because I genuinely want to make a top or even a pair of, like, um, Safia trousers by Tilly and the Buttons. Because I've definitely got holiday vibes with this. This feels like a very holiday vibe fabric. It's got this gorgeous blue... Um, on this white background and it's almost like a paisley style print is the way I view it. It's very different from a typical fabric that I would go for but it's got all the colourings and the prints styles that I would like but I think because of the white background it's definitely one for a summer holiday. So this is absolutely lovely and I'm really pleased that I managed to snap that up because I have been looking at it for a while and this is the first time I've actually bought it. So I also bought a viscose jersey fabric. Now, look at this. So I don't normally buy things with mustard in them because mustard is not a colour that I can wear. But this is on dark navy background, which I absolutely love. It's got these pops of yellow and it's the kind of yellow that I can wear. And these pops of pink and purple. Now, they're all my colours. And I think... 
Although the mustard's on there because it's on this dark background and it's got these brighter colours on it, it is something I can definitely wear. And I just think this geometric print is just fabulous. Um, I will link below all of the fabrics that I'm sharing with you so you can go over and take a look. But how lovely is this? I can't actually remember how much I got of this. I think I got two metres of this. Maybe a metre and a half, actually. Just feels quite heavy. Yes, I've got a metre and a half of this. So that is absolutely perfect. I am probably going to make a t-shirt um, out of that um, because I think that'll be like what I'm wearing now. It's kind of like a basic to go in my wardrobe, but because of the print on it, I'll give it a bit of an elevation and uplift. So the final thing that I purchased, now I actually purchased this before watching the vlog, but I did see go up on Instagram the Northern Soul Sisters and their purchases of a rib fabric. Now, can anybody guess which colourway I went for if you've watched the Northern Soul Sisters? Pause and comment below now if you can guess whether I went for the one that Rowan picked the one that Rachel picked or the one that Tamlin picked. Now, spoiler alert, I did go for a colourful one. So which one do you think I went for? So the one I went for is the same as Rachel. Now, it, I was umming and ahhing and I was really torn between the two colours and I was trying to go with which one I thought was more me. But the pinks and the blues that stood out in this one was really what made me go for it. And up close, this is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Now, I only got a small amount of this um, because I it's going to be a top of some sorts um, or it's going to be the Elysian bodysuit. Now, I've got a metre and a half of this. I don't own the Elysian bodysuit um, pattern, but I did think that that would be really lovely to wear with a pair of jeans. Um, I also thought about like a vest top, so like just a plain ribbed vest um, to wear in the summer months or spring months when the weather's nice with like a pair of um, palazzo trousers. I thought that this would be absolutely lovely and I definitely have fabric left. Um, if I was a skinny mini, a little tank top would be amazing in this. Um, so yeah, I, there's, there's a few different options and I haven't 100% made my mind up, but this fabric is so beautiful and I would urge you, if you are interested in it, because the quality of it feels amazing, to go over and check it out. Um, and let me know if you were right, if you guessed the right one for me, I'd be interested to know. So that's it. That's the fabrics that I've bought. That's the things that I've made. And that's the plans for my coming week. It's been an exciting week in the world of sewing for me. I want to take a moment to say a massive thank you to everybody who has purchased from my new collection that I released earlier in the week on Jazz and Wow, which is my Etsy button and earring shop. I really, really appreciate the fact that you have gone over and you've spent um, your money on some of the beautiful things that I love to create. It really does fill my heart when I see those orders come in. So I think everybody that's ordered now has got everything out in the post to them and it should be arriving soon. There is some more bits due to go up um, after this weekend for my shop, some buttons. So I've done some earrings called McElroy Me and they're basically, um, they've got fabric scraps of my Lady McElroy Tokyo um, fabric in them and the effect that that particular fabric gives them is amazing. So I've now been using that in some buttons and I love them. Let me show you them. They're not on the shop yet, but let me show you them. So the earrings that I have purchased. Now what I'm doing is I'm showing you my ones because these ones were actually my experimental ones. I always make prototypes up. I tend to make them for myself. Um, and then I will um, see how I work, see what reaction I get and then pop them out for need to. So these are them. You see how pretty those colours are in there. They're just gorgeous um, and they're on these little hoops and they're so lovely. And they, you've got different tinges of colours because of the type of fabric it is. 
you've got lots of different colours in the fabric. So some have got some oranges in, some have got purples and pinks. They've got like a mixture. These are the buttons. So I'm hoping that these are going to come up as pretty as they look in real life. I don't think the vibrance of the colours really going to come up on the screen. But they are just so lovely. And you can see each one's unique in the colours. And because... They've all been cut differently. A lot of time and care has gone into how I've actually cut these. So these are like that one there. It's got pinks, oranges and a bit of purple in it. And this one here has got the purples and the blues in it and some of the darker colours. They're just absolutely stunning. So they are going to be on the shop next week. I just need to finish polishing them. Um, and then packaging them up um, and hopefully you guys will like them as much as I do and they go really nicely with the Lady McElroy earrings. So you could the last thing I wanted to share with you was I shared with you one of the blouses in my Sarah April blouse that had a poor pattern placement, pop a picture in here just to remind you, talked about a couple of options that people have suggested last week. One of them was to get a vest and pop a vest over it. Now, if you watch my or follow me over on Instagram, you will see that I put up in my stories that this week my vest arrived and I actually paired the outfit. Now, I think it's really important to share these things with you guys because we all do things as sewists that go completely wrong sometimes. And sometimes we can't always save it. So I had lots of suggestions about putting pockets over to cover the placement. Um, and that would have been great if I had fabric and material left. Unfortunately, I didn't have any fabric or material left to actually be able to do that. And the fabric's so lightweight to try and find a colour match would have been quite difficult. But somebody suggested getting just a vest and styling it. Now, it's a bit of a new styling thing for me. But here's a picture of how it looked. This is just a vest I bought off of Vinted. I'm gonna use this vest from Vinted as a pattern template to have a go at making some more versions because I love this. I actually think with the way that the peplum hangs out at the bottom, it looks really stylish and chic. Let me know your thoughts. Well, maybe chic's not quite the right word with the colourings that I've picked. Because when I picture the word chic, I go somebody that looks really elegant um, and stylish. This is probably a bit loud, bold and out there. But I do think it goes really well and I think it looks lovely. So let me know your thoughts. But I wanted to show you that. So that is a pattern mistake, but it now means that my blouse is operational in my wardrobe and something that I can start integrating with my everyday wear. And it's fun too. So thanks very much for taking the time to watch me today. I really appreciate you um, watching all of my vlogs and listening to me ramble on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Take care and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.